These are rappers who almost died on live. Starting with famous rapper Duke Deuce, who was from Memphis, Tennessee. Because back in September of 2021, Duke was posted in the hood and went live on Facebook, chopping it up with his fans like he always does until things went left. Because at one point, Duke was on live telling the people who live in Pepper Tree Apartments that they should come outside and mess with him since he's not bougie. But before he could finish his sentence, shots started going off in the background. Come outside and f with me, Pepper Tree. We ain't on none of that bougie, none of that Hollywood. And as the shots got louder, Duke turned to run away with the camera still in his hand. But at some point, the shot stopped and the live stream ended. And at first, no one knew if Duke had got hit up. But a few hours after the incident, he posted a video on social media letting everyone know that he was all good and didn't get hit. And in the same video, he told them to step their game up. Better step it up. Come on, bro. All in here. And some believe it happened because he was in the ops territory. Because after the situation, some of Duke Deuce's ops were on social media laughing and taunting him because of the situation. So next time, he might want to be more careful when he go live. But Duke Deuce isn't the only rapper from Memphis who's been shot at on live. Because Memphis rapper PSO Emmett's situation was even crazier. PSO Emmett was a 16-year-old rapper making waves in the city with songs like Sliding and Don't Feel Him. He gained a local buzz and racked up hundreds of thousands of views on his YouTube videos. But before Emmett could make Make it big as a rapper, he was gunned down while attending his friend's funeral. Because on Saturday, October 23rd, Emmett was at a funeral for his friend, Jamarco Smith, another teen from Memphis who had died. And on the way to the funeral, PSO Emmett's cousin, PSO Dede, started a live stream showing them walking in a group down the road to the church where the funeral was being held. And toward the end of the live, Dede taunted the ops, telling them how they ain't on nothing and never did anything to them. Good I been on I ain't, I ain't never sent the slings out of our way. Oh God. Oh God. And not long after the live, a group of men pulled up in a black jeep and started letting off shots, hitting Emmett and his cousin Dede before fleeing the scene. His cousin Dede was rushed to the hospital, but Emmett died on the scene. And even though PSO Emmett was known for showing guns in his videos and rapping about the streets, his mother told the media that he was just a normal kid who worked at Wendy's, went to school, and worked on his music. And according to those who know him, Emmett was a good kid, and the image he portrayed in his music videos was not the life he lived. The baby, 16. Full of life. He enjoyed himself. The best kid you ever want to be around. Full of everything you want to see. But in the end, he still suffered the consequences of living that lifestyle due to his cousin going live and dropping their location. But not long after the situation, a 22-year-old man named David Lee was arrested in connection with the shooting, and he's being charged with first-degree murder. And police also arrested Rico Lee, another person who had something to do with the shooting. But now let's move on to Spider D, a rapper from the Wild Hunnets on the south side of Chicago who's a black disciple. Spider started making music in 2017, and he has slowly built a buzz in his city over time. But what really made him go viral was the situation he had while on Instagram Live. Because back in May 2020, Spider was outside and talking about some new music he planned to release. But out of nowhere, he changed the subject and started talking about his ops. And seconds later, you could hear a car pull up and someone hit at him with a switch. You know, hey, you know what they say about the on with the hoodie on in the summertime on BD. He ain't out here trying to play. BD in. Right up. And according to internet rumors, Spider D had dissed someone named G Ski from a GD set because there's even videos of G Ski arguing with Spider D on Instagram Live. You don't know me. You break it down to beef and what beef? Folks what them beef don't know you. Folks what them don't know you. Folks what them don't know you. You wasn't front what? line. And thankfully, Spider wasn't hit in this shooting. But later this year, he finally spoke on a situation during that live in an interview on YouTube and said that that was weak and he used to stuff like that. Was that the last day you hung out there? Did you go back out there after that video? Because that would have scared yeah. my life, Spider. Yeah, 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 I went back out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. That was, man, that was the weakest. That was some, you know, out of what I've been through in my life, that was one record is one of the weakest and although spider didn't get hit this next rapper did because on february 12th this year kodak black was in la with gunna attending justin bieber's super bowl party but when leaving the party a fight broke out and kodak instantly jumped into the fight attacking someone on the ground but seconds later a masked man in the background pulled out a gun and shot in kodak's direction and it's still unknown who the target was in this situation because kodak only got hit in his leg and none of his wounds were too serious and a few days after this incident took place kodak gave more details on it in an interview with the breakfast club and thankfully that didn't cause kodak too much trouble how you feeling 
<laughs> How you feeling? How's your leg, first of all? I'm not right. It's just about nothing. Mm -hmm. Now, the incident that happened, was it something that was long lasting or was it just a, one of those things where one of your people, they say, got into an argument and you was helping one of your peoples out? Mm -hmm. Like, on spot, latch on the latch on spot. That's it. It wasn't nothing like, oh, nobody was like, after, 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 like, so we was after them. But I can't say the same for this next rapper since he got caught lacking by ops while chilling on live with his friend. Indian Rare Boy is a rapper and gang member from California associated with the Inglewood Bloods, who's known for beefing with the Rolling 60 Crips because a member from the Inglewood Bloods even defaced Nipsey Hussle's mural and tagged his name over his name to let them know who did it. Nipsey's people didn't take this too well, so they made a video telling the Bloods if they don't punish this guy named Capone who did that, they're going to take things into their own hands. And you gonna come over and put this baby Capone? All right, I bet you gonna change your name today. I bet you that y'all need to y'all need to beat that right now before the homies mine up and and, and, and come do some dumb to y'all. And not long after that video, Indian Red Boy got into the situation and defended Capone and went on to diss the Rolling 60s. But not long after all of this, Indian Red Boy was chilling in his car, laughing with Capone on Instagram Live. But out of nowhere, you could hear shots going off in the background. Red Boy is then seen gasping for air. So Capone asked him for the location he was at, but Red Boy could barely make out the words Hawthorne before passing away. Jeff and Susie, we're off of Chandran Avenue in the city of Hawthorne, and you can see Hawthorne PD. Uh, they are wrapping up their investigation. They're still taking some photographs. The male in his 20s uh, that was shot and killed inside this car, there are a lot of bullet holes inside that windshield. We zoomed in earlier. And since the defacing of Nipsey's mural brought a lot of attention to the two of them, so many people assumed that this incident was their way of getting payback. But some say that's not true, since you have other people saying that he was shot over since he has switched on his gang, because Red Boy wasn't always a member of the Inglewood Bloods. He used to rep Hollywood Pyru from Compton, but he left his gang on bad terms and his own people took him out. And his brother said three men and a girl had set him up and he promised that he would get revenge for Indian Red Boy. And subscribe quickly before we move on since I'm giving $100 to one person who subscribes in the next seven days. But now, let's talk about what happened to Bugatti Casino. Bugatti Casino is a rapper from Fort Worth, Texas, who had always been involved with the streets because he caught a burglary case at just nine years old. And over the years, he was sent back to juvie 25 times and said he would only be out of the streets for like a week before getting locked up again. And at age 17, he did around six years in prison. And once he got out of jail, he started taking music seriously since he wanted to get out of the streets and do something more productive with his life. And although he was trying to change his life, he faced problems. Because one night, Bugatti was live on Instagram chilling in his car and talking to fans Until someone off camera approached Bugatti's car Telling him he needed to move his car since he was in front of his house What you on, fam? Man, what the oh, on, bro? You hear me? I'm just yeah. trying to make sure everything all good No, say, fam, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on somebody You know what I'm saying? You said to talk to me about some other stuff and eventually, they started arguing, and things got so bad that the guy tried robbing them. Where y'all going at? Where y'all going at? And no one could tell what was going on, but you could hear them tussling in the background before shots started going off, before someone ended the live. And although most rappers have been caught lacking while on live, this next one wasn't. Because one day, a popular Detroit artist known as Snapdog was standing on the block screaming into the camera. And in the distance, you could hear someone yelling at Snapdog before he dropped the phone. We ain't gonna play with nobody out here for real. You already know. I'm Snap. What's happening? and started firing in the direction of the guy he was arguing with. And Snap has more viral clips with shooting that helped attract attention to his music. But he later admitted in the interview that it got too out of hand, and he started attracting a lot of attention from the police. That's real, that's my real life, you right. know what I'm saying? And it took for me to get smart, like, yo, man, we got that, bro, this getting out of hand, you know what I'm saying? Like, police really watching it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was just showing my life. But that's nowhere near as crazy as this rapper who got into it with his ops while shopping for a Kobe Bryant jersey. Honeycomb Brazy grew up in a rough part of Alabama surrounded by nothing but violence. And Brazy never had anyone to guide him because his parents were in prison throughout his childhood. So Brazy hopped head first in the streets and is well known for his street altercations. Because even though he's 27, he has spent over 10 years behind bars and almost lost his life multiple times. He was even involved in some street beef that got so serious, his his grandparents were killed in the house fire over it. Lewis and were the head of their families 
and we've also learned that they are the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. But the situation on Live with Brazy happened because of something back in 2016. Because one of Brazy's childhood friends, named Stank, had walked in and saw Honeycomb Brazy with his girlfriend, which made him mad. But Brazy claimed the only reason he was there was to sell her some gas. But Stank didn't believe that, so the two got into a heated argument and Stank ended up dying. And they tried charging Brazy with his body. But he went on to be the case. But his entire city still hated him since his city had a ton of love for Stank. So after getting out of jail, Brazy was getting shot at left and right whenever someone caught him lacking. However, his most controversial moment was in November 2020 because he was live about to buy a Kobe jersey outside of a barbershop until about seven minutes into the live gunshots started going off and no one was injured in the incident but a few days after this happened brazy had them release the footage with another angle of the situation and the footage shows a great bmw passed him and a few seconds later brazy's friends ducked behind the car and started shooting in the direction that the truck went in so it shows that brazy and his people were on point and weren't going for the disrespect but speaking of disrespect king von disrespected a ton of rappers so click this to see times king von humiliated rappers. 